Hello everyone and welcome to our paper titled on the effectiveness of gun generated cardiac cameras for segmentation. It's the fruit of a collaboration between the University of Sherbrooke with Nathan Benchou and Professor Clément Lutin and the University of Burgundy with Dr. Alain Alon and myself, Yusuf Stambrani. Our work touches on the problem of data scarcity in the medical imaging field, especially for cardiac short axis cinema MRI, which requires the segmentation of the heart structure in order to infer clinical parameters essential for a cardiologist's diagnosis. To this end, we explore an approach based on generative adversarial network to try and circumvent the lack of data. Our method is split into two stages. First, we train a variation of autoencoder to reconstruct segmentation map of CNMRIs, and in doing so, we also learn a latent space of anatomically viable cardiac shapes. Since the, uh, the dataset used for training the variation autoencoder was delineated by an expert, in parallel to the variation autoencoder, we also train an image to image generator based on the specially adaptive denormalization layer, which learns to transform input segmentation maps to realistic MR images. This generator is trained in an adversarial manner using a discriminator. The discriminator is fed during training either a real MR coming from the training dataset or a generated MRI output by the generator. Both of these uh, inputs are concatenated with the input segmentation map. The, the discriminator then tries to predict whether its input is real or generated. And in doing so, it forces the generator to output more and more images resembling the those coming from the training set and matching the shape of the uh, input segmentation map. So, to summarize, our approach encapsulates a variation of the encoder that learns the latent space of valid cardiac shapes and the generator that transforms cardiac shapes to realistic images. At test time, we sample from the previously learned latent space of the variation of the encoder a large number of anatomically plausible segmentation maps. We then take these segmentation maps and feed them to the trained generator, which, in turn, outputs an MRI matching the input cardiac shape. In doing so, we managed to accumulate a large number of MR images and their corresponding ground truth values. To evaluate the usefulness of the newly generated image pairs, we train a segmentation network, namely ENET for its speed and, uh, and uh, lightweight. We train it on the original datasets and on the generated datasets and compare its performance. Uh, you should also know that the generated dataset contains roughly 100,000 images. As you can see from the tables, the networks trained on the generated dataset uh, already give better dice scores than the ones trained solely on the original datasets. Also, the generated datasets do not contain any image from the original datasets. This improvement is even more important when we take the number of uh, when we take the networks trained on the generated datasets and fine tune them for a number of iterations on the original datasets. For example, the dice score for on the uh, Sunnybrook dataset went from, an, from uh, 79 points in dice for a network trained only on the original dataset to an 87 points in dice for a network trained uh, on the generated dataset and fine tuned on the original dataset. This is a jump of uh, 10 points in dice, which is quite impressive considering the uh, original size of the training set for Sunnybrook was 470 images. For additional results, please refer to the paper. Here we can see some example of uh, sampled cardiac shapes from the uh, VAE Zetan space and their generated MRIs. Uh, the gener as you can see from the image, the generated MRIs match the shape of the uh, segmentation map, and, but they also contain other organs such as the uh, uh, lung and the liver, which are generally present in a uh, short axis in MRI. Uh, this uh, characteristics make the generated images even more convincing. To conclude, conditional guns show promising results as an approach for the lack of data in the medical imaging field, and they also provide a solid data augmentation framework for small datasets. For our future endeavors, we, will, we, we intend to explore uh, the benefits of conditional guns and guns in general uh, based approach for the uh, problem of uh, highly class imbalanced datasets, but also their effects on other uh, modalities. Thank you for your attention.